Hi, I'm Dr. Syed Mujahid Hussain, practicing as consultant pediatrician at Goodwill Children's Clinic, HSR, Bangalore. There are a few infections which uh, are pretty common in childhood, especially less than five-year-old children. Why are they most uh, frequently exposed? Because uh, that's how their immunity builds up. That's how uh, they grow and develop their immunity and they're exposed to germs all the time. So number one, one of the most common infections is common cold. As the name says, common cold, it is basically running nose or a stuffy nose you must have come across uh, very often with your child. It requires simple antihistaminics, which basically release the congestion. Number two, typhoid fever, which also we must have heard. Typhoid fever is nothing but enteric fever, which comes by contamination of water, food. Again, children may not wash their hands regularly. They may just put anything in the mouth. So that also can be very well treated at home if no complications. Uh, with a simple medication suggested by a doctor. Number three, hand, foot and mouth disease. Now, this is a simple viral illness wherein there are rashes over the palms and soles, uh, there are blisters in the mouth, there may be mild fever. It's again a self-limiting illness, can be treated very well at home. Number four, acute pharyngitis. Pharyngitis means basically infection or inflammation of the throat. So again, it's a viral illness, can also be bacterial. If it is bacterial, may require antibiotics and can be managed very well. Now, number five is basically gastroenteritis. What is gastroenteritis? Infection of the gastric stomach and intestines. This is also pretty common, obviously, because children, again, as I said, put a lot of things in the mouth, toys in the mouth, dirty hands in the mouth, germs go there, they produce vomiting, they produce loose motion. That may lead to dehydration sometimes, which requires admission, hospitalization. Otherwise, this can be very well managed at home with basic uh, fluids, basic medication and good hydration. So this is the most common infection, which need not be panicked about, can be handled very well. And if it goes beyond out of control, the duration is beyond three days, then definitely you need to see your pediatrician. Thank you.